Hello. Sing in me, O oh muse, the tale of Gerald Williams, ghoul slayer, former taxpayer, hash slinging ice walker, worm eater, depression haver, tree chopper. The modern life is one of ennui. So, survival, overcoming the odds, is not a vestige, but a metamorphosis of atomism, upon which the individual social animal endeavors to beat the odds each day. At first, the world seemed a large place. Life is torture. Fighting is joy. Snow is cold. To fight and to be close to man is to know the way. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Much as expected, we're still not very good at anything. We lack protection. We're still largely useless and now losing weight. But having killed 84 zombies with a hand axe, I'd say we are a bit more confident now. And so while the earth is covered by mother nature in a thick blanket of snow, we endeavor to make our new home clean. Want to see me do a magic trick? There. Want to see me do one again? There. All human life is suffering. This suffering is because of ignorance. If we rid ourselves of ignorance, we do it by learning. Knowledge is liberation. Last night in my reading, I encountered a new passage. The words of the late great poet A. A. Milne. Coddleston, Coddleston, Coddleston Pie. A fly can't bird, but a bird can fly. Ask me a riddle, and I reply. Coddleston, Coddleston, Coddleston Pie. To live is to suffer, and yet we go on playing the game. To live is to play the game. And so today, we go straight back into the city to find more supplies. Apparently, it's only chilly around here, but there's a freezing wind chill. I think the weather might actually give me decent coverage, but I want to test out how loud this storm is gonna be. There's a chance that this could be the death of me, but I think I've learned enough about humility that I'll go back when the time comes. And with near zero visibility conditions, I figure that the only thing that's gonna lead them to me is the sound of my coughing. Apparently that's enough, but I can at least thin out the hordes nearby my base. And if nothing else, we'll get our hands on a decent axe and some tools that we find lying in zombies' backs. A lot of the new combat systems make combat a little bit more manageable now, too. Beyond that, it's just goddamn beautiful. Thanks to Turtle Turbo's new fog system, the game looks better than it ever has, especially in the cold weather. Shaking trees, multiple layers of fog, massive storms reveal how exposure is the deadly enemy here. Some would call it the adversary. Naturally, the added coverage makes it easier to take on one zombie at a time. Unnaturally, I am very bad at this game. Undertaking the way of my ancestors, I open the door. Even in the dead of winter, cabbages and potatoes should be okay. I prepare a table in the midst of my enemies. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I can relax. On that note, on that note, some would ask, what is the purpose of our lives? Some scholars would ask, why? Some skeptics would ask, why go on living in a world devoid of meaning? To live is to believe. Or in the words of Rudyard Kipling, to fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds of distance running or speed walking. Either one is completely acceptable. Today we make efforts to find food. I've put this off far too long and there's a lot of zombies in this area. Obviously I can't fight them, but at some point I need food if I want to get back to this town. If I could just make myself well fed, I could recover from this cold and get better. If I could get better, I won't make so much noise on my looting trips. But it's not worth my life, and almost nowhere is safe. Almost everywhere is a dead end except for this pile of crepe. We'll see if it has anything at all in the kitchen. Fortunately, it's empty. Unfortunately, the cabinets also seem to be empty, which was one of my only hopes for food. Butter! Butter! A fantastic find. And yogurt. But my life is in danger. Is that it? That's all I have. It's worth it for the butter. A single stick of butter could save my life here. And with all that being said, it's time to eat the butter. 3,200 calories of pure fat. There's no better food in Zomboid for a starving man. And whether or not it actually makes me well fed, it's definitely gonna restore some weight on my bones. Much needed a godsend. The gas station also proves rich and full of chips. All right, I'm out of here. And like a fat kid, I eat cupcakes, shortbread. I have to get out of here. Nowhere is safe. Ask me a riddle and I reply, I have to get out of here before I die. Holy shit, this is... Jesus Christ! Jesus, Jesus. That's a spicy meatball. That's a spicy meatball. I need to calm down. The town is completely overrun. I don't think I've ever seen that many zombies at once. Not even in my wildest dreams could I overcome this. Time to drink soda pop. 
Cigarettes and chocolate milk. Now I'm finally well fed, at long last. And it nearly cost me my life. And it seems more of them are streaming in. I'm gonna need to run down the road from here. But I am well fed, and I can eat this yogurt as well while I'm running for my life. After which there is a slight chance that I'll recover from this cold. I think I made it. I really should not have taken that chance though. It was, uh, it was really foolhardy. I'm lucky I never tripped in any of those instances, but I will survive and I might even recover. Finally back to the main road, back home to McCoy and I'm safe. I regret to say that's largely a wasted trip. In terms of Zomboid's internal systems, I believe if you're not well fed, you'll never actually recover from a cold. So I'll need to resort to other measures to find food. We're now fortunate enough to have more soma and water. My potato farm flourishes. My depression rages on. And I, and I, I take the road less traveled by. It seems that the fog is cleared up so I can now go with visibility. There's one last area here that might have food and get me a full stomach to recover from my, f to recover from my cold. And it looks like this is a postal truck. I don't actually have a weapon anymore. My metal rod broke. But I found a bunch of post office people. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no storm... Ain't no snowstorm cold enough to keep me from breaking in this door. This is some of the last refrigerators I know of on this map. And it, it seems there's nothing in here. Nope, 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 nope. Yes. No. No. Yes. No. Literally only one thing. It's unfortunate, but we might need to make a campfire. And it seems that this trip turned out to just be a massive bust. But simultaneously, at least I'm getting warmer. And I did manage to bring my weight up a little bit. And it seems my cold has actually disappeared. I never thought I'd see the day. I guess that one night's sleep was enough to get rid of this cold. Huzzah! We're finally at risk of getting another cold. Huzzah! We are, we are healthy again. It's been so long since I've last had no moodles. Now all we have is peckish and slight wind chill. I guess the last thing that's really keeping this character down is just the fact that he's underweight. Likewise, he's also very unfit and weak. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna save working out for the night because supposedly it's supposed to be better done at night. Haven't really figured out this whole system yet, but I'm gonna start making my way back to town. Not that I think I'm really gonna be able to do much better there. Like I said, arrogance is usually the killer, but assuming that I don't get another cold, I could use stealth as a friend now. And I can't believe it, I haven't been able to use stealth in a really long time. Not that I'll be much good at it at all, but we've got some new company. There's actually a chance we could sneak now. Since we won't be sneezing constantly. We also might have lucked out with this mail truck. Finally, some good fortune. Except everything is locked. And I don't have anything to break into it with. Well, no matter. The snow's cleared and the fact that it's still there is good enough for me. At long last, we can just outwalk zombies without any fear of attracting them. I am extremely attractive. But we need to get inside before it gets cold. Oddly enough, cold does make you sick in Project Zomboid. And we need to prevent ourselves by insulating. Exercise. And sleeping. Eight hours a day. And find more layers to insulate ourselves with. And now, I'm going to tell you how waking up at 5 a.m. each day changed my life. Every day I wake up at 5 a.m. I sleep. Each day I sleep in this chair. And I open the door. I pick up my axe. And I make my way off. And I make my way off to work. I sneak off to work, and I go in the back door, grab a snack, and then I kill a man. After that, I usually grab a snack, wash my face, and then I steal everything. But in all seriousness, this warehouse looks amazing. I think I could make this my new home if I managed to secure it. There's also an antique oven in here, inside of one of these crates. This could make it an actual heat source. The large warehouse has been the base for many players, and although it has glitches, it's actually a fantastic area. It has great loot, few and a whole lot of nothing. Actually, this time the, the large warehouse might just be ass. I'm, I'd kind of be surprised if I found anything in here now. There's a lot of nails though, we'll need those. But these antique ovens would be useful. And this wrench, and this glue, and this sack, and this shovel. There's quite a lot of good stuff in here now that you mention it. And also a hand torch. I haven't even seen one of these in the game yet. Lug wrench. And if nothing else, it'll at least give us a vantage point from which to see everything around. Nothing good over there. Nothing good over there. And absolutely nothing good over there. Yep, the entire place is overrun. I'm starting to question why I came here in the first place, though. I think I'm gonna pick up this couch and leave. Nope, I'm not gonna get to do that, actually. I don't get to do anything. So, seeing my exertion rise, I think I'll just head home. This trip was okay, and at least I got my stealth up. I found a bit of food, 
I'm not depressed and I do have more items. They're not that much better than what I had before, but I'm gonna need to get back into the neighborhood to get to these homes next. I won't survive if I don't find more food and clothing. A major short-term gain here would be to find a down jacket, if not a couple down jackets. We can start to loot zombie corpses for more subtle items like long socks. Another thing I'd like to find around here would be uh, a watch. If we could free up some inventory space from that alarm clock, or even just find a watch on these to know what day it is, that would save me a little bit of trouble. Nope, 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 nope. Yes. Apparently no one wore a watch in the 90s. But if we're in such better condition now, we could actually start to go on a killing spree and fight them for the only thing that matters in life, time. I am getting better in combat. It's a good sign, but I don't want to be arrogant yet. One, two, one, two, and through and through. And I spy a machete in that one. Or just a giant butter knife, it could be that. And we may as well utilize this axe skill we've already got. The combat's starting to feel more fluid. I admit I wasn't that good with it in the beginning of Build 41. It took me a while to get used to it. I think we're down to a better rhythm now though. There, much better. Yep, it was a giant butter knife, I was right. A, just an enormous butter knife. Oh, that one was a bread knife, okay. Well, that's upsetting, but fact of life. We'll continue to make our way through these woods, but now I'm gonna have to start to even out the woods. I've attracted too many zombies in here. See, there's ones right around me. And if I could just bring them out into the open, that would be much safer. Either that or I'll have to start chopping down the woods, and I don't really want to get rid of my coverage. It's unsafe now. One, one, shouting them out. Two more. Three, more than I can handle at once. It seems I'm getting stronger. I managed to push him down more quickly. And I think my character is almost healthy, but I am starting to get winded. We won't survive this much longer if we have to keep fighting these onslaughts. It's time to run. Thin them out. Never fight when you're tired. That's too many. Run. And a magazine. More reading. Liberation. Enlightenment. Intellect. If nothing else, this is at least a chance to train our axe skill. And the combat actually feels rather satisfying now. Another chance for some exercise. Burpees. I can do a thousand now. I, I can't do a thousand. At least it'll make me stronger in the end. Stronger and more fit. I still don't think it prudent to walk through these woods, so I'm just gonna keep clearing them out. One, two, three. These kills are getting faster. Aim is getting more sure. Now beneath the coverage of snowfall, we can take out a few of these, but... Again, we don't want to get too arrogant. This is actually a lot. I should start to run. Yeah, it's time to go. More than I can fight. We'll try to stealth it out. We'll try to stealth it out. Even if we don't- even if we don't manage to stealth it out, there's value in at least trying because it's gonna improve our skill. Right now we have no stealth skill whatsoever. No, obviously not an ideal place to be. Does it get better? Yes. Does it get better by much? No. We can at least get to this house without- waking up the entire neighborhood. I think I might have attracted them here though. See if we can take the ones from around the side of the house. It appears as if it's almost cleared. I might have actually found a lootable house. I think I can go inside and just don't destroy that window. We're safe. We might have found a safe house to loot. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. No ice cream, no butter. A bit of bowl. Bolognese. Another can opener. More pepper. Cooking pot. Dish towel. All worthwhile. And books. All right. Knowledge is power. Death is liberation. A spear with a screwdriver can be separated out into a spear and a screwdriver. Leather gloves. A belt. More books. Knowledge. Knowledge is a vacation for the brain. Having fun isn't hard if you've got a library card. I can read any book I please. And that just about does it. Ravioli, ravioli. What's in the can? Spaghetti bolognese. Time to eat a smashing Italian meal. Uh, it's, it's magnifique. Oh, it's so magnifique. I have to gain some weight. I'd say that's about it for one day. I've, uh, I think I've had enough of this, and, uh, I can't take it anymore. As always, my name's Amphibious Ambigian. Thanks for watching. You're an absolute lad if you made it to this point in the video and series. I don't thank them enough, so God bless the AA support group for keeping me alive. I love each and every one of you, truly. Random shout out to the Twitter page so that I can post more random memes. I'll stream again on Twitch if I feel like it. Click on all the things below. Do it. Do it now. Until next time. Peace.